Hello, everybody. My name is Zainab, and I am the Corn Oil Specialist at Aboisa Commodity Brokers, Soft Oils Business Unit. Today, I will summarize the distillers' corn oil participation in the biodiesel industry. Basically, when the U.S. government increased support for biofuels, a lot of corn ethanol plants were settled around the country, and the number just increased year by year. Firstly, the main focus was the ethanol production, and since the process consequently generated co-products such as the DDGS, with the support of technologies and low operational cost, ethanol plants started extracting corn oil from thin stillage in between the fermentation and distillation process and the drying of DDGS. This allowed ethanol plants to increase revenue with the extraction of DDG corn oil, also known as distiller's corn oil. According to the International Energy Agency, the main feedstocks used to produce biodiesel around the world are rapeseed, soybean, and palm oil. So aiming to increase low-cost alternatives for the biodiesel industry, animal fats, recycled cooking oil, and distiller's corn oil participation as feedstocks increased in the recent years. Not to mention that such usage helps to decrease competition with edible oils used for food industry. 50% of U.S. distiller's corn oil is used for feed industry and 45% for biodiesel, making it, as for 2019, the second biodiesel feedstock after soybean. Although still far away from U.S. production capacity, Brazil corn ethanol plants are increasing significantly. Brazil counts with two types of ethanol plants. The first business model presents flex plants that produce sugarcane ethanol from April to November, and then corn ethanol from December to March, according to their own crops. The second business model counts on full corn ethanol plants, mainly located in the state of Mato Grosso, which concentrates 12 of the 19 plants for this biofuel in the whole country. Currently, the distiller's corn oil produced in Brazil is mainly used for feed industry. The oil presents free fatty acid as oleic acid with levels between 12 and 15%, making operational costs to increase for biodiesel refineries. In comparison to soybean oil and animal fats, with technology supports, producers are able to reduce the FFA levels, but still the cost is high, making it to lose competitiveness. With the title of third largest corn producer in the world, Brazil has the challenge to improve distillers' corn oil extraction quality and its market share in the biodiesel industry. With specialists forecasting the growth of distillers' corn oil through the world, it is important to monitor this market. Hope you like this briefing and stay with us for more informative videos. Abuisa Commodity Brokers, connecting companies and creating business.